All right, welcome everybody to another class of Cherry Top Crafts. We are unboxing the July Cherry Box. Cherry Box. And we're going to be making a couple things too with it. Yeah. So this is the July Cherry Box. Um, so if you subscribe today, this is the box that you will receive. The Cherry Box is a monthly paper crafting subscription. And yeah, it's delivered to you about the beginning of each month. Mm -hmm. So because this is the July box, you'll be getting this first week of July. Yes, July, July. We always get a lot of questions like, oh, where to, where's the June box? I'm like, oh, sorry, missed it. <laughs> yes. Because it comes out at the beginning of the month. So yep. don't want to miss it. Yeah, so this one's a fun one. Um, should we, I guess let's, we, should let's get, get opening. we should get opening. Yes. If you want to be surprised, don't watch this video. Yeah. <laughs> Some people like to be surprised. Other people like to know exactly what's in it. So yeah. We like to do hints throughout the month, mm -hmm. and, and then we do like an unbox. So we've already done a couple little spoilers here and there, but let's dive into the whole box. Dive in. Um, yeah, first, we always have this little card to welcome you to the box and kind of show what the box is about. Um, it'll show how to use a product or just examples of something. A spoiler number one is there's mica powder yes. in this box. So in here we talk about how you can use it and different ways to use it. Um, there's a lot of ways you can use it actually. Yeah. We have more examples on the cherry blog. It's really fun. So so if you never used it before, this is a great box to, to get. <laughs> and then we'll also be using it today in this class. Yes. So you get to see. First and then hand. we also have a list of all of the products on the back. Okay. So you see long list. Yeah. Ready to open? Ready to open. I'm trying to do it carefully. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I didn't do it very carefully. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to keep mine pretty. <laughs> okay. Here we are. So as we already said, you get mica powder. You get two jars of it. Um, you'll get a purple and a pink. And what mica powder does is there's a little uh, shimmer and shine in it. Mm -hmm. So you can add it to mediums. You can use it by itself. You can and mist it with some water, which next thing we have a mister, little mini it's mister. It's so cute. Which, it's just a yeah. little guy. And this yeah. is a good one for being so little. Um, it's pretty powerful. Yeah. Like, you do yeah, want to it's be a, a good, little bit careful. It's a with good it. mister. Yeah. So these kind of go together. And what about next? Beads. Beads, I guess. Yes. Got this whole set of six different colors of beads in here. These um, are fun. Yeah, they're fun. You can do them with so many little things. I've been kind of treating them almost like glitter, I guess. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Like you made that page where it was like a whole little section of beads that looked mm -hmm. really cool. It's just a different kind of like bigger glitter. Yeah. Because they're smaller than like a normal bead. Yeah. I feel like. Um, and the colors in here are green, blue, red, uh, clear. Like a bluish purple and kind of like a dark gray yeah is that a gray like a charcoal maybe charcoal oh that's yeah good way to describe it yeah. so lots of fun colors um and we'll be using these today too and we'll show you some different ways of using those mm -hmm. then, one way of using them yes you, in them here inside these. yeah yeah uh these this is fun. a fun one too i think this would make a great embellishment like in a page um it could be like an explore page or we'll doing today like a beachy page mm -hmm. um there's a lot of options to use with these journal cover yeah um the big one is kind of big mm -hmm. so it's not to be careful super bulky though yeah um like let's see it's at like quarter inch it's probably close to a quarter inch so i mean that's about the width of like a lot of fluffier flowers so yeah i'd, I'd treat it the same as that kind of type of bigger embellishment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then a little one is that's pretty small you can use that yeah that anywhere. one's really cute you could do that in a lot of things that's so just, it's just little. so one thing you can do is um fill these up with 
embellishments like flowers mm -hmm. glitter so we're gonna put some of the beads yeah inside of these today and that makes a really cool look yeah. um i really liked the look of that it's really fun so okay next we're so sure. our main collection in this box is the golden coast from prima. from prima so pretty it's it is very pretty it's really beachy and light um it's got you know your seahorses and seashells mm -hmm. some stripes uh sailboats and also what i liked about this is there's a lot of like the little cards Can't oh yeah too yeah much I but like those. you see it in well, oh, this yeah. one we have already open oh like these yes i love those i love these little kind of cards yeah um and they're just so little and cute I like and there's vibe. a lot of florals which i think is a really cool mix with the beach like mm -hmm. these rosies and, mm -hmm. and it's pretty beach. versatile like it's, you don't yeah. have to use it for just beachy it, mm -hmm. it can be summery there's some spring. good stripe pages i like the stripes i really like the map pages oh too. yeah that's cute so i think i might yeah. use i might use some of the stripes today yeah let's see um and then so we have a ephemera pack which matches that line um i really like the gold foil pieces in here oh yeah Those are pretty yeah and there's just a little bit of everything in there seashells um a couple word sayings I think what else is in here um some florals so you'll see like, us using yeah. that today too yep. it's also i really like oh, they're the cute they're trinkets that go along with the collection so we have a seashell or i guess more like a clamshell a seashell some little heart sunglasses and a flamingo, a flamingo. and so yeah cute. i think these are so cute these would make like a great little charm just dangling from mm -hmm. from really journal. anywhere from your journal on the outside of your cover on a page you can have it dangling mm -hmm. off of a photo anywhere anywhere and you don't even have dangle. to dangle it like you could just glue it on too. yeah you definitely you have could. like a little area of embellishments maybe you want to kind of make a cute cluster yeah with your flowers and whatnot and i really like the gold accents throughout this collection yes. like I these love are gold, gold. you can't these go wrong gold. gold there's in our flowers like the centers mm -hmm. are gold these are really cute so again it goes right with that um that line i really like the size of this flower i feel size. like it's not like it's flatter so you can use it with more things but mm -hmm. it, and it's because some of the huge ones get harder to use but uh, yeah i really like this size and they have good colors too yeah cute little stripes. like ones. the stripes and Pink the little and bows actually some of the um like some are just the plain colors and then other ones are the patterns of the patterned mm -hmm. paper like there's a little uh is that a crab Oh yeah, see a like crab on this and one, crabs. and then yeah, this one has some florals. So cute. So yeah, that's so we need some of those today. I'm thinking I'm gonna put one or even two inside mm. of my little thing. What's this called? A um, trinket. Yeah, <laughs> I'll call it a trinket. It looks kind of like a pocket watch. Yeah. That's what I think. Of. So next we have these Satan crystals. I feel like you can never have too many of these. Like they're just like no, the easy yeah. little, little little dots. Yeah, a little finishing touch yeah. to your layout. And card, these have like a little bit of shine to them. Oh, they do. Especially this row. They're very shiny. See that? Um yeah. Yeah. Hi Jen. Hi Cindy. Glad you guys are here. And then the last thing in this collection is the alphabet stickers. These are cute. Which also have, so like it's not all alphabet, there's also other like regular stickers, like some fish and some clams and, and a crab. A little crab. Did you ever see a prettier crab? I love like, that crab. Look at that. That's so cute. That's just or like, cute and pretty. There's it's not these those little like, ugly red, bright red yeah. in your face crab. It's. It's a and pretty most crab. of the crabs have like little flowers with yeah, them and it's yeah. like it's just cute i Ice really like these tiny little seashells mm -hmm. like there's just so many cute little things cute cute, cute. and then is. yeah Flamingo. last page I, I also like the seahorses oh yeah those are cute too yeah so that is the alphabet stickers but they have more than just alphabet 
So it's a little misleading. Alphaba and extras. And ex yep. And extra. And then okay. last but not least, we have uh, Vicky Booten color study stencils. Mm -hmm. I really like these, these stencils because it comes with a pack of three, which I think is really cool. And these, they just seem like good summery beachy mm -hmm. stencils. So we got some flowers and some kind of like little wavy things. I don't know what yeah. to call those. And I love these like stripes. So there nice were stripes. two different stencil sets in the Vicky Booten color study collection. So if you didn't get the one with the flowers on top, you get these circle ones still from the color study. Mm -hmm. So you um, get either one. Yep. So you get one or the other. Oh, so fun. Oh, I like these a little. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah, and I feel like these kind of look like beach balls or mm -hmm. something. And then that's just a fun circle pattern. They're so fun. Yeah. So we'll be using these today with the mica powder mm -hmm. and the mini mister. We're, yeah. We'll probably be using most of yeah. these, I think, just yeah. for everything. I'm, I'm very excited to get going. Yes. Because I really like, like yes. it all. Any questions about the cherry box? Let us know in the comments. Um, you have until the 25th to sign up for the July cherry box. June 25th. Yes, yeah. June 25th for the July cherry box. The June box has already been out and it's gone. Um, do we have any extras? There sure. might be a couple left. Sometimes we make up a couple extras, um, but those usually go pretty quickly. Yeah. If you search on our site, cherry box, that will come up. Um, there might be a couple left. I haven't looked lately. Yeah. Okay. So let's go let's into keep going. what we're going to make. I want to go a little bit 3D. Um, so I found this 8x8 shadow box. And it's just kind of, it's not like super deep. Yeah. But it's, it's, a, it's like a good depth. A good inch. Yeah, that's about an inch. Inch. Yeah. Yeah, it says it holds 3D embellishments up to three fourths inch or two centimeters. Mm. So almost an inch. Um, because I thought that'd be really cool to layer in some of our thicker pieces. Yeah. Inside there. And I will be doing a layout. Uh my base is a Vicky Booten mixed media paper. Uh mm -hmm. and then That's that foundations paper. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's really nice because it um it holds up really well to everything <laughs> yeah mixed media stuff yeah so when i don't and i like that it's not textured yeah it's just flat yeah. um so yeah i like that i because i don't exactly know what i'm getting into when i'm starting right so it's nice to have a mixed so it's media nice, paper yeah. that's just doable for all the things blank and yes. i can get going yes um let's see so i'm gonna do like a i'm gonna do a black paper because I have, um, I'm going to do this black and white photo. I think that looked really pretty in here with um, my mica powder on mm. top of this black. I tried it out and it looks really it pretty look on really that. It really cool. Um, I wanted, I was thinking, because I want to use both of these that are in here. So it's going to have a bigger cluster here mm -hmm. with my photo and then maybe like a, just a smaller one over here to kind of balance it. Right, right. Um, so I know I wanted to fill these both with beads. Yeah. Um, I really liked the look of that. I was just playing around and dumped some beads in there and I think that was pretty cool. So I'm just going to use some of my Nouveau glue and fill it up in there. All right, and I'm cutting this down to eight by eight. I'm thinking I'll probably have to be a little bit patient letting this dry. Oh, yeah. Which I should is, probably start on my Which is tough. It's hard to be patient. It's hard to be it's patient. It's hard to wait for things to dry. I know. But I think yeah. it'll be worth it. Okay. So I just have a nice coat of glue in there. And then I'll dump my beads. I'm going to put a flower in one, but I don't know which color yet. 
pink. Probably pink. Mm. I already like it. Oh yeah. <gasps> Ooh, yes. And I would use um glue that dries clear. Yeah. So that you know, because there's gonna be little gaps around it, and you don't want to just see, you know, some white glue. Or at least I unless, I wouldn't. Unless, unless you that want to. if that's your look, go for it. We don't judge. No crafty judgy. Nope. Do what you want. Okay. Got my glue in here. I'm gonna do the the clear beads because I think those are fun. These have two lids to them too, like a little pour lid and a sprinkle lid. I'm just gonna pour it right in. Then I'm gonna dump out the I'm just gonna open it. I might I'm gonna see how it dries. I might yeah. go back and add another layer. But I mean look at that. It's so fun. And then you could you could even add like a tiny little photo in there. Mm -hmm. Um I think I'm going to add this seashell in here. <gasps> oh that'd be cute. Yeah. Look, there's a layer of all my clear ones. Cute. I might do I'm not sure how many layers I'll do. See, yeah, I'm thinking the seashell and then I might layer more beads around it. I think I might put another layer. I'm going like to build it up a little bit. Yeah. More. Are you gonna let it dry first? I don't know. I think I might let it dry first. But I don't know. Because they're already like stuck in there. Yeah, it did good. stick. They're not moving good. too much. Um because yeah, like I'll let like it dry said, a little bit. Not very patient. I know. <laughs> it looks cool and I want it now. Not patient. I'm gonna get started on my little one. So yeah, that's what I'll do while I wait for that. You could even put some of the um mica powder in there. That's glue. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm logging both of those. Yeah. <sighs> that's a little thing Did you have you tried putting the powder in there? I haven't. That would be another possibility. You know, you can mist the powder. Like, you can add... So, if you already have some water in the mister, you can add powder to it, too, and shake it up. And, like, you can mist it that way. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how it will show up. Right. That's the only if thing. show up in there or not, yeah. I think I'm going to do clear in this one, too. Just kind of swish it around, press it down, and get that one layer in there good. I think this one I'm going to do clear as well. Now these beads are very easy to get all over the place. <laughs> you should see our office. I don't know. I don't think they're too tricky. Well, yesterday I was, I yeah, don't know, was, I was having trouble was was getting them all over. Well, you because you dumped them in the cherry tape thing oh i think that was the problem i just, was trying to keep them like all together i'm like oh well just yeah keep them here in the cherry tape and they were like I think bouncing just... out <laughs> <laughs> they yeah they're going yeah. everywhere but just dumping them or in like a little thing like this yeah not too bad um if you have some like craft tweezers or something those are easier mm -hmm. to use if you're placing them in a certain way on um your layout or whatnot. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and do another layer. <laughs> okay. Because why not? Because why not? Oh. Yep. Okay. That's okay. There. There. And I mean that was whoop. That was pretty quick. Look how cute these are. Cute. Which colors would you guys use? Would you go for the blue or the white in there? Or, I mean, this, or this came ones. with Green, six different colors. Red. What color beads are your favorite? Charcoal. I really like the blue. Yeah, that blue is pretty. I like the black, too. But... Mm -hmm. Or the charcoal. Charcoal. Okay. Now... Okay, I know I wanted some mixed media in my background, so I need to figure that out. Um, I think I'll use some of the mica powder and show one of the ways that you can use this. There's really 
Yeah, there's so many ways you can use these, the mica powder. Oh, yeah, Melinda says the blue looks really nice. Mm. Yes, it does. Okay, so you kind of see it in here. Mm -hmm. Mica powder. It's very powdery. Yeah. Um, it does get all over. <laughs> I this, feel like this if you're gets not all careful. over more than the beads. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just like to uh, like tap it with my finger and let it slowly just sprinkle around. Yeah. If you've seen us, we've used um, those Ken Oliver powders before. Mm -hmm. It's pretty similar. So it's similar in, in that, like how you kind of just yeah. gently shake that out. And it's similar, like it's, uh, it's kind of like a watercolor. Mm. Um. So yeah, you could even uh, like mix that in a little bit of water to make it a watercolor. Right. All right. So now I had it sprinkled. Now I'm just going to mist it. And when you're misting it, um, you want to make sure it actually got wet because that's what will like seal it to your page. Um, like sometimes if you have like a little powder bubble, and it didn't get fully wet, the powder can shift off of it. Mm -hmm. And get all over your fingers. <laughs> or your and arm. And you don't realize it. And it up you touch arm. all the other things. So you want to make sure it's nice and wet. Oh, if there was a light tan, it would look like sand. Oh, true. Mm. True, true. Okay. okay. I'm going to glue on... Or what did I decide? That's, actually, that's pretty wet. You don't. You that's probably don't wet. have to get it that wet. <laughs> that's pretty wet. Mm. Also, the thing with this is it's pretty easy cleanup, and if like it went someplace you didn't want it, yeah, you can it easily just wipe up. Yeah. That could also be the paper I'm using. This mixed media paper. Um, like I guess if you had a more absorbent. Paint it might the color mm. might absorb into it faster, but I don't know. I know I was using this the mica powder with this paper before, and I got like a big little puddle where I did not want it, and mm. I was easily I could just wipe it up. That's Get good it for when you change yeah. your mind. I make Which mistake. I do happen all the time to us. Yeah, you do that pretty okay. often. So here's my paper. Um. I think the black will be a nice contrast yeah with this collection yeah because it, really it is a really it's light really light yeah um um now i'm gonna decide what stencil to use which that's a hard choice because i always love all these stencils i feel like you're gonna go for this one the dots because you always go i i dots. mean i do tend to go the dots yeah they're just so versatile and i don't know cute yeah now i'm going to kind of like um cluster all my things to my bottom left corner just to make it a little bit different i don't like to always center everything i, I think it gets can be a little bit boring yeah so um since I mean, I you have can, some big yeah. pieces like this, like mm. this will look really nice in the corner. So I'm going to kind of line it up with my stencil to see how much of my stencil I want. So I know I'm going to use those pieces. Here's my photo. I know I'm going to use some flowers. How much mixed media do I want? All of it. All of it. <laughs> well, I still want to keep, you know, a good amount of my black background too just so that really pops oh this is so cute with this I, that here. is so cute isn't that that's, cute that's i want to make more of those right that's really adorable i love it let's see what am i looking for oh i had some string i wanted to see how this would look hmm. like if i um connected both oh. of these on the little string good idea Okay, oh, the scissors. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do like that much on my background. Oh, I'm still losing some beads because they're not all the way dry. 
because <laughs> I'm impatient. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of hold this down with my cherry tape. Like, literally just <laughs> putting it down oh, like this. That works. Because I don't feel like taping it down. Mm -hmm. But you can tape down your stencils so that it doesn't move on you. It's probably the smarter way to yeah. go. But I'm... You can even just use a little washi tape. Washi tape works great, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to use the pink mica powder. Can you see that? And again, when you're using this, just very gently tap it on. You don't need a whole lot. There's still a lot in this. It comes like, um, if you can see, there are little holes in there. Just a little shaker. But we have a ton on top here that are <laughs> just sitting there. Did lose a couple beads. <laughs> I'm sure I've lost some. I mean, most of them are staying pretty, pretty good, though. Um, so I'm going to sprinkle this on, and then I'm going to use the water and spritz it on my, stenc my stencil. I'm going to keep my stencil down the whole time. Not sure how much I want to use here. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. If any of you used mica powder before, let us know. What did you use it on? Yeah. How did you use it? How did you use did it? Did you mix it? Because yeah, you can mix it with gesso or with paint. Like if you have some pink paint and you add in a little oh, bit of that pink uh, mica powder, it'll just idea. add a little shimmer to your paint. I should have done that. Too late. Oh, next time. Okay. I don't know why I'm shaking it. It's water. It doesn't need to shake. <laughs> make sure you shake your water for no reason at all <laughs> okay and i'm gonna spray it well actually before i spray because it does tend to get a little messy i'm gonna cover up the rest of my black background just so i don't get it all over okay a nice good mist on there okay. and then you can use a brush to spread it around but i use my finger because I think fingers work great to really get in those tiny little stencils. Well, I think I'm going to try to glue this in here. Um, let's see. Don't it want it right in the center? Oh, Maybe like big. that. Okay. And I'm debating. I might add a little bit of foam dots in there, just oh. so it'll stick in the middle as well. Mm -hmm. and then maybe add some glue around the edge because hmm. i'm thinking I'm gonna put, that'll be my best I'm shot gonna put just a tad down there. and just wrap it down so make sure that it does get wet. It has some wetness on there. Otherwise, it will kind of come off on your fingers. Okay, so I got my little shell. Added some foam dots in the middle here. Oh, I see. So, because it's kind of, yeah. you know, it curves up. That's hard to it. glue. And yeah, that makes it very hard to glue. And then I'm still going to add some glue around the outside there. There it is. And then push it in here and I guess hope for the best. Hope for the best. It's usually how we do things here. Yep. Okay. It's our crafting motto. Yeah, it's our crafting motto. Yeah. Those. And then I wanted to add a little bit, like a second layer of the blue, just to kind of you yeah. know, go around yeah. it a little bit. Okay, I think this looks good. Sometimes you just don't know until you move your stencil, but I know there's no way I'm going to get this back on and line it up good, so make sure I got it good before I move it. Oh no, this isn't sticking good. I Ooh, might need pretty. might need a thicker glue or like a paste. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just going to um, gonna tap off any dry stuff that I don't want. Look at that. Cute! 
the dots. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very shimmery. Okay, I have a wipe. And it gets all over your fingers. You can see the shimmer more on my fingers. See that? Actually, I'm going to get some paste because my foam didn't really work. It's, oh, it didn't. It, yeah, it's not, it doesn't stick good on the beads. Look we'll at some foam. Okay. So here is my 8 by 8 paper. Um, and I'm going to start layering on all my pieces. Oh, I also want to use paper too. Um, I'm going to cut some. So sure. I got Do some a small cutter. Mm, might be in the office. Oh, nope, it's over there. Oh. So I got some modeling paste because I know this is made more for holding the big things and the chunkier things on. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing with it is that it is white, so um, yeah. I just need to be careful trying not to see it. And if oh, and then I also got some needle nose pliers so I could take off this part, oh. the little charm part, because I don't really need it if it's just sitting right, sitting in in my thing. It's not dangling from anything. So okay, so I put a good bit. Of the modeling paste in there. It's going to squeeze out the sides a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Oh yeah, that that feels much more secure. Okay, and then I already added some of the clear glue around it, so mm -hmm. that's what all that is. I didn't put that much. Mm -hmm. So that's all clear glue around it, so I can add some more of these so it can look like it's sunken in a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Um, Jenny, the the mica powder, where you put it through the dot stencil. Um, yeah, if you missed it, I just put the stencil on, put the mica powder right on it, and then I sprayed it with water, and then just kind of with my finger smushed it all around. Yep, so you don't need anything else. You can mix it with other things, texture-based paint, whatnot, or you can just use it as is. You're going to get a different look, um, depending what you use. So pretty. Have you ever seen a prettier crab? I have not. It's just well, I feel like a lot of times when there's crabs, it's like they're kind of goofy or yeah, like really red. red. Um where that's just like a nice crab. Um, so I cut some strips of paper just because I want um I don't want them to cover my background too much. So how do I want to do this? I kind of want to like layer it somehow. Okay, well, there's that. I'm going to let that dry again. And I'll be back for it in a little. And it'll work back on the rest of my page. This one's done. That's a cute little, cute. like, charm group. Yes, charm group. <laughs> right? I, I love mean, it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Mm. Now... What do I want? I know I wanted some. Oh, I was going to use the dots. Mm. And actually, I'm not even going to worry about cleaning off this. Yes. So a little bit of your pink oh, will kind of go yeah. through. And then I wanted to use some texture paste. Um, this is actually white pearl modeling paste. Mm. And I'm just going to add some dots, and then it'll pick up a little bit of your pink here and there. Okay. 
So I'm going to layer my strips of paper. I'm not really sure how yet I want them. All, all these papers go really well together. And then um, I'm going to kind of, I think I'm going to pop my photo up to um, the foam tape. So I'm thinking kind of in this area. And um tucking i really like this flower with this gold accents shiny shiny and then i'm gonna tuck that in there somehow not really sure so you can see with these dots actually i like the um so the stencil i used already had the pink on it and then i used white texture paste and it's kind of like the oh, pink yeah. circles it yeah that's which is cute. kind of kind of an interesting technique might have to do we that just more. make up techniques as See, we go. we'll mm. say that's a technique instead of i just didn't want to clean the stencil yep, yep. that's a technique Ooh, that's a technique mm -hmm. yes okay i'm gonna kind of play around with this as i go if you use liquid glue then you can still kind of move your pieces a tiny bit as you go and look see i'm smudging some of mine stencil that's okay um glue so use whatever glue you have on hand this is just our favorite glue i really do like that glue. it doesn't clog it doesn't clog and, and you can, you use, can use, it, use it for anything you can and you can use it like till the last drop yeah which i feel like is a big thing with me because it's like i don't want to just buy glue and then you can only use half of it before right. it dries up right. or then it becomes too hard to squeeze out I hate that. Like you could feel it in there, but you can't get it out. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do I want to do? I think maybe I'm not going to have them all even either. Mm. Just. Yeah, I feel like that looks good, like for layering. Like mm -hmm. if they're not all. No, in a row, perfectly, perfectly in line. Yeah. Play like that. Hmm. I'm gonna make room for my flower. Okay. Hard to decide. And I don't want to cover up too much of it either. So you can see, I mean, that a little bit of the powder goes a long way. Like yeah, even just cleaning off the stencil, look how much of the pink is left on here. Wow. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll see Yeah, I feel like that later. powder would last forever. Yeah. I mean, it is a big, well, it looks like a small It looks container. like a little jar, but you only use such small yeah. amounts where. A sprinkle, yeah. Yeah, a little sprinkle is all you need. Yeah, I think that'll last forever. And then you can see I can easily clean it up. Like I got some random powders here and there. Yeah, like mine too. And it's not like a regular watercolor in that way where, yeah, I'm, I could just, you can just brush it off. Brush it off or wipe it off. This is like a little bit wet wipe. Yeah. Just clean it up. Whenever I do mixed media, it gets a little. No, too mixed. So it's not too mixed. <laughs> so it's nice to be able to clean it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, I need foam. Cherry foam. The big guy. The big <laughs> roll. That's even the a, this is a little bit smaller. Yeah, because we've used it. They they come so big. Mm -hmm. I, just because it's thick. But, yeah, it um, comes in like eleven or twelve inch thing. This stuff is great. Like, though. Whoa. You can just tear it with your fingers. Very handy. Don't have no time to find scissors. Uh uh. Um, can I have the little trimmer? Yes, yes, there it is. 
Um, what I've been liking to do is add like a little bit of a harder background to my photo, especially because this is um, oh. like thinner paper, especially when I know because I know I want to add quite a few layers on this. Mm -hmm. So this is actually just the back of the paper pad. Um, that works. That works. Go dig through your trash too to see what you can find. Yeah, some like little cardboard pieces or whatnot. Or like, yeah, any chipboard, whatever. Uh, just because I feel like I've made a lot of layouts where the photo looks like kind of warpy. <laughs> As know. you look at mine, mine is actually it's, see, a little bit warpy. That's a, yeah, so I'm trying to remember. I think it'll be okay once I stick yeah. it down. And usually it doesn't, it's, it, yeah, once the layout's done, it's like, I don't know, you don't really even notice it too much. Mm -hmm. But if I think about it, which I just so happen to, mm -hmm. I go for it. Okay, I'm going to put it looking like that. Cute. It looks so fun. I actually have not put it in the shadow box yet. Mm. I just kind of practiced around yesterday to see what kind of looked like. So I'm excited to see what it will look like when I actually put it in. I think in it'll there. look pretty cool. With the flag. Yeah. And I think that's a cool way to um, show off your scrapbook layouts too. Yeah. Like you, they don't really. always need to be, you know, in a scrapbook. I think it's fun to have like we actually have this rotate. Yeah. Up yeah. in our storefront, we have a wall of some scrapbook pages up there, and they're framed. all in um, shadow boxes. Like yeah. That. They were black frames, but then we painted them white to kind of go with our overall look. So if you ever find a frame that you love and it's not the right color, just paint it. Yeah, it works. Just paint. Okay. Still don't know how I want to do this exactly. Me neither. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so there's my photo. I know I want it down here because I got like a little, it's a little heavier here. Um. I can really see this collection kind of like with the torn paper look. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm going to add pretty. some torn paper layers. So I guess I could just start doing that. Maybe I'll use... I really do like these cut apart things. Yeah, those are cute. I think I might save a couple. You have the... Do I have the... I have it. Paper trimmer. I feel like that's the thing we lose the most. Paper trimmer? Paper. Er, Glue. And, and scissors. scissors. Like the things you use the most. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, you'd think you'd just... Like, I just used that. I should remember right? where I just used that. Right. Not how it works. Okay. So I have strips of paper down there. I have a little... Some florals peeking out. Um, and I'm not gonna like build up this cluster down here. I know I want to use some of these flowers. Oh, and the ephemera. Yep, ephemera pieces. Oh, I want to use that. I like this one. So sunshine. Oh, there's ice cream. Oh, that's. And cute. I did already oh. use some of them, so there is more than yeah. That, because I already made a layout using these cherry box things. Oh, that's cute too. It's just a matter of placing things. I think that's good. I like to see, like, I don't know, different shapes sticking out. Like, I like to use round things, like, you know, like flowers or circles, and they go well with more sharper edges, like rectangles. Mm. Just a good balance. Okay. Now, I don't know really what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, I think I want to frame my photo with something. Mm -hmm. So I need to find a paper for that. I really like this map one. I keep using this one. Yeah, that I have some that. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, you can tell. Like it's super like, cute. It's mappy. Yeah. Mappy. And. I'm going to use, um, so to tape this down, it's, it's a little chunky heavy. I'm going to use some cherry tape 
and some glue just for good measure too. So you really get I mean cherry tape is really sticky. This will hold it. Yeah. On. Yeah. I think. Or should I, I think use it, the foam one? We'll stick it. Oh, the foam would stick it either. I think I, think I really either think either good. would yeah, stick it good enough. Oh, must have got some loose beads. Okay, that's a pretty big frame, but I think I will like it. And I wanted to distress my edges. Um, I do have a, we do have a paper distressor. It's like a little Sizzix tool. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't have it, so I'm just, <laughs> just, just, just bring on the danger. Bring on the danger. I love it. I'm losing my beads because well I know some of them just didn't you know they're not they didn't hit the glue right yet so I might add more in there after I take this stuff off. Let's see. And you don't get things like this where you rip off a whole <laughs> corner if you're using the scissors distressor. Yeah. Um, but it's okay. I was going for distress. Yep. It's that's, very distressed. That's distressed. <laughs> you also don't crimple the paper as much, but again, that's okay. It gives it a unique look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got some cherry tape on here. And I'm whoop, losing more beads. I'm gonna do some glue too, just for extra measure and I need to glue my beads on more on the inside but we'll get to that in a minute. which I think I need a little bit more if I have my photo about here I want some more mica powder floating above my photo oh that's a good idea um let's see no it's okay I'll just like this need it quite a bit higher so that's a whoa that's a big photo i have it there a little over here so i cleaned up my middle so i wouldn't so have that yeah yeah it's just so i can cover it again okay yep because i originally wanted to keep the middle clean mm -hmm. oh well yeah. sometimes plans change plans change all the time Okay, now I'm going to get back to my paper ripping. Hmm, scissors? Scissors? I thought I had another pair over here, but maybe I don't. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like all of these papers. I know. Oh, wait, where's the one I just had? Oh, pretty. This boat. Boat. Had some boat. Sailboats. Those are cute. Want some bigger torn pieces. Wish this was dry already. No patience. No patience. That's good enough. <laughs> it's definitely not dry, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, my paper might work for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm but wondering if I should have like done another layer of paper. I don't know. Too late. Just to like back it with. Oh. To make it stronger. I don't know. I feel like you could still tuck things around it. Or you mean like my back paper. Oh. Before I put it in there. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it'll be okay. We will have to see. I also have my handy book of knowledge that I like to tear papers from just to get that, you know, vintagey looking book look in there. Mm -hmm. Book look. Yeah. I think whenever I do like a torn book, I just, I just like adding it in there a little bit. 
Um, I'm just playing around my flowers. I like that I can still move them around. Yeah. It's like I, I can't decide yet. And also, once they're kind of like glued down, I like to fluff them up a little bit, like the petals. You can bend them up a little bit more. So they're more 3D. If you want, unless it's like you need it flat for a page. You keep it flat. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can do like same type of things, just keep it flatter or fluff it up. Mm -hmm. Get some of these dots in here. Um, so many good paper options in here. I know, it's hard to decide. Ooh, there's a bold one. Maybe I'll use this. Big color difference, but I think that'll be okay. Just gotta figure out where I want it. Maybe in the corner. That'll do. That'll do. All right, so you see my cluster I'm working on. I'm also um, I'm going to glue on some of the beads, too. So I did that on another layout, and I like the look of that. Probably some of the clear ones again. Um, or actually, the charcoal-ish ones might look good, too. Is this charcoal? Yes. Yes. Um, so this is when um, tweezers would come in handy. Oh, I almost forgot about this guy. Look, and this I'm going to glue a little bit more in this, too. So I've lost a few of my beads. <laughs> I use enough glue or wait for it to dry? Um, normally I'd glue paper like this with cherry tape, but because it's kind of all set where I want it, I'm just going to quickly yeah. do some lines of this, and then I don't have to move it all. You hate that. Like, you get it exactly how you want, and, and then it's like, like oh, oh, man, I gotta glue now it I gotta, down. Yeah. And then you mess it up or forget what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, all the time. We often take pictures of when we're like practicing stuff or doing our layouts or like, yeah, to get an idea. Or, yeah. yeah, we'll take a picture of it. Like, okay, you need to remember this for class. But I want to do it this way. Okay, so I'm just adding some of my little micro beads. I think I might actually too much of this. That's better. My hands are so glittery. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. I just kind of dot some glue down. And I'm just placing these down with my fingers. I mean, I guess tweezers, but I'm not sure. If fingers way. is fine. It works. I'll just kind of press those down. Oh, oh, I do like this charcoal. I mean, it's not. Yeah, it looks kind of like a, I guess, like a darker silver almost. Looks nice. And I'm kind of going around some of my bigger embellishments with these. It just gives it that little extra something. <laughs> Look, yeah, just I got some good layers going on here. Ooh, lots of layers. Yeah. Love it. Then I'm kind of like fluffing up the edges of my papers. Um just so you really see the mm. see the layers. I can just kind of curl up the edge. And then where'd my crab go? I know I wanted my little crab here. Maybe like that. I 
Get this, my seashell. Maybe I'll add my seashell up here with this. Um, I think I will also add a little misting. Mm. Um, so let's see, where is... Want some of that purple. Where's the purple, Micah? Oh, that, here. Oh, like I'm, I'm thinking beads. I have beads in my mind. Oh, this one's empty. Do you have your mister? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Somewhere. Okay, let's play a game. Who can spot the mister? I'll just try to fill it up. Actually, I think that's the one I used. Where's the other one? We had two. Actually, this, is, this isn't too hard to fill up. Okay. Spot the mister. Mm. Okay. So, I have my mister. It's filled up about halfway. And now I'm going to add some of the mica powder into here. This does get a little messy. <laughs> little? A little messy. But it's worth it. Um, this would also be like a thing like if you don't want to get dirty with mica every time you use it. <laughs> Look at your fingers. Just, just get get messy with it one time. Yeah, just do it all at once. Okay, that's hopefully enough. Okay, so I have it in here. Ooh. I'm just adding all the beads. So it's it's kind of hard to know when to stop. Yeah, I feel like I just keep things going. like that you can just go forever. I just keep going. Okay, so then I shake it up good. And I know my first couple squirts were just regular water because that's what I already had in there. Okay, that, I think that'll work. Now I'm just going to lightly mist. Ooh. So it just, yeah, add a little bit of... It's like a more controlled, mm -hmm. even way. So okay. if you don't want like the little puddles of uh, color, this will lightly mist it over everything. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on what type of look you're going for. Yeah. That's fun. Another way to use mic powder. And again, if you got it somewhere you didn't want it, I got it a little too much on these boats. Grab a little bit of a wet, wet rag. Wipe it up. Yep. Okay. There. I like that better. Mm hmm. Different look. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to add any more? I don't know. I think I might be stopping. Yeah. Let's okay. See. Where am I at? Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at my little cluster. All right, now let's see if I can get it into my frame. Mm. Well, really, you should wait for it to dry. But I'm going to just try <laughs> to put it in there because I don't feel like waiting. Mm -mm. Okay. I got a little bit of mica powder up here. I'm just going to kind of wipe away. So really How does it wipe away on the black? It's... I mean, it's like it's still kind of like a little there, sparkle, but yeah, it's okay. It just spreads really easily. Okay. Look, I even have some on the frame. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> just wipe it off. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my back out. Maybe. There's a nice cardboard thick bag. That's nice. And here's this that you don't need. Oh, so I'm probably going to have to tape that down to that. Yep. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, maybe I'll put my crab up here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So this actually will make it really nice and strong. I'm going to tape it down to this cardboard piece that was included. And I think I'm just going to use like the left foam cherry tape because it's thick, it's strong, and it will make it pop up a little bit too. I just want a little bit of layers over here. The paper layers by my crab mm -hmm. in this. Um, I like that shell in there. Yeah. I wish there was I another like shell that. that I could use. Um, Too want late. another? Get another. Um, well, I don't those. know where to put it. Oh. Oh, I was going to use flowers, too. <laughs> That's okay. I, for I completely forgot about the flowers yeah. and the fade and crystals. Yeah. There's so many things. Just forget. That's okay. I can still throw you them still in there. Layer it on. Yep. Yep. This is really sticky. Ooh. This will not be going anywhere. Okay. And some of this paper. Okay, I think that's probably good. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I can get it off. My fingers are kind of sticky and messy, so let's make it mm -hmm. just a little. Tricky to get off my sticky now vacuum. too. Okay, so I have my cherry tape down, and I'm gonna just put this on it. Ooh, yeah, yep. I think that's the direction I was. I don't know. Oh, and with cherry tape, you can't really move it after you get it on yeah it's set so i'm gonna like stand up and do this I can... yeah that's why i'll kind of go back and forth between using cherry tape and using regular glue mm -hmm. the regular glue you got a little bit of time to work with cherry tape but i mean that also it's so strong yeah though. it really comes in handy though other times there we go there now it's on a nice thick piece of of cardboard whatever that is and i'm losing Ooh. my beads because they're not all glued down yet i'll just shake off any extras i feel like oh i have a few couple loose i don't have too many okay now add my thread and my little charm um these are cherry foam dots uh a lot of times if i want to make it like double height add a cherry foam dot on top of a cherry foam dot and that gets you a little extra height mm. so it's a good tip got my little crab there um whoop, whoop. i'm my bow beads. You're just gonna have like uh, some beads along the bottom of your yep. shadow box. Yep. Get that. Okay. No troubles. There's that. Um, I could also stick it on some of this modeling paste I might just do that just because it's already ooh, losing beads just make sure that your beads are pretty well glued on and wait for it to dry and then wait for it to dry let me just put a dab of that the modeling paste and then just squish it down and there we go I'll just hold it pretty well too. 
this one, a little dab, run out, and then squish it on. All right, a little bit tricky, but I got it. You can hear my beads. <laughs> Look at that! In my shadow box, and I didn't even wait for it to dry. <laughs> Cute. I like how this turned out. Yeah. Okay. Cute. Cute. This, I think I might uh, add some little beads. Oh, and this aid in crystals. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can see all the layering added up there. And then my little corner, keep it balanced over here. Yeah. But yeah. There we go. Oh, you're everything cute. Yeah. Well, wiping off my mic. A bit. <laughs> thanks oh, for Lord. stopping by. Yeah. Thanks watching for today. us. We hope you will leave inspired and, and that you learned something new, maybe about mica, mica powder or how to use beads or how to use bigger um, elements like like these little trinkets yeah um yeah don't be afraid to use the bigger bulkier stuff mm -hmm. you can do it in different ways even on a layout or shadow box and if you want all of these products that we use today they're all in the july cherry box yep. so make sure you subscribe to that um Hold it yeah up, but I didn't and then we'll yet. be shipping these out pretty soon here it's almost july so yeah so june 25th yep few more days what is today I don't yeah because this box yeah there's a lot of there's a lot in this box so you definitely yeah. don't want to miss out you get a great deal with it yeah i like it lots of fun uh if you have any questions leave them in the comments or um email us message us um, we're here for your questions yes and tag us on social media if you do make anything with the stuff we like to see we like to share it in our stories our cherry um, box hashtag is hashtag the cherry the box, cherry box. Uh, mm -hmm. so you can find other projects that we've made or others have made using the cherry box mm -hmm. it's um, really fun to see how, how everybody uses yeah. it oh yeah we'll post these on our blog and show some other projects we made with the cherry box so mm -hmm. if you ever don't know what to make with your cherry box just check, check our, our blog, blog. Yeah. yeah we'll post finished projects in there yep that's so, fun yeah. all right Thanks for joining. This was Thanks. a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Yep.